What's going on everyone? Today on the channel we are unboxing all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Q-Fig statues from Q-Master. Now I am totally pumped for this. I have done two other Q-Master unboxings. I did the Batman Family, which I'll link here, and then I did the Miles Morales Spider-Man uh, Q-Fig statue, which I did uh, last week, which I will also link right here. Um, yeah, so they were really cute and fun statues. They were very characterized versions of the characters. And I saw these and I just had to pick them up so that way I can review them for you guys. Like I said, all 14 Teenage Mutant Turtles, we're going to unbox them. But before we do that, I just want to ask you guys, are you guys subscribed to the channel? No? Then what are you doing? Get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications so that way you guys are notified when we upload new content to the channel. And if you don't know, it's every Tuesday and Thursday and we go live every single Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern on Comics and Beer. It's a one hour live stream where you talk about all things comic book news related. That's comic book movies, TV shows, and comic books themselves. We drink some craft beers, we do some trivia, and those entries get your, those trivia questions get your entries into the end of the month giveaway where we give away one slab at the ever, end of every single month. It's a really fun giveaway and you guys don't want to miss it. So you're going to show up every single week so that way you guys get those entries in. Last but not least, smash that like button. Now let's unbox these suckers and take a look at what's inside. All right, guys, at a first glance, after getting these suckers out of the box, man, they are so cool. I think they did a really good job of capturing the persona behind each of the statues. But again, I want to take a closer look. I think you guys probably want to take a closer look. So let me hop to the other side of the camera, shoot some sexy B-roll, and then come back on this side of the camera and talk about what I like and what I don't like about each statue. All right, guys, let's do it. Guys, now that we've had a chance to look at each one of these statues close up, let me give you a couple facts about these statues. Each one is roughly, roughly four inches tall. Donnie's a little taller. Raph is a little shorter. Each base is three and a half inches wide, and they, they are very light. They're in the ounces. Um, and yeah, they are great statues. Again, they are so small. You can fit multiple up on your, on your uh, shelf. You can fit multiple on your desk. Those are the facts, it's quick and simple. Now let's talk about what I did not like about each statue, then we'll jump into what I did like, and then we'll wrap the video up with my final synopsis or my final thoughts. All right guys, the negatives. One thing that I did notice, um, that out of the four statues, three of them are have like this forward facing position, which means if you are setting them on a desk, they are gonna be look like they're kind of like facing down and you're not gonna get a clear look at their face. I think these three um, are Leo, Raph, and Mike. Um, they would be best suited up on a shelf. Donnie is in a much more upright position and will look great on a desk or anywhere else. Um, also, they all share the same exact base. Now, this is obviously a cost-saving maneuver. Um, allows them to, you know, put the same base on four different um, statues. But it would have been really nice to see some detail added in for each character. Like, Donnie maybe has some text things, some computer parts. Michelangelo, maybe some pizza boxes, some video game controllers. Raph, maybe some extra weapons or something for him that he just destroyed. Um, and Leo, maybe some philosopher books or something like that. Um, that would have been a really nice addition to the statues, but again, um, I understand why they uh, use the same exact base for each statue. Um, and overall, these are $22 statues, or I believe 25, but I got them, uh, they were on sale on Amazon, roughly $22 a piece. Um, you, you can tell that these are in, like, on the lower end of statues because there were little painting mistakes. On Donnie's foot, there was extra plastic still on it that did not get cut off. 
Uh, but those are all minor defects when you're looking at these statues as a whole. Um, those are really the only things that I noticed that were negative. All right, guys, let's talk about the positives for these statues. And I think what Q Master did best is capture the persona of each turtle. I think two they really, really nailed. The other two did a good job, but again, they just look awesome. I think the Michelangelo one hits it home best. Wait till that for the focus. Oh man, come on. Does that make he look like a party dude to you? This absolutely perfect Michelangelo. He's on his skateboard, he's got his nunchucks, and he is just rocking it. Uh, same with Raphael. I think they did a great job of capturing his persona. He's got his size and a badass position. He's got that smirk on his face. Classic Raphael. Um, and then Leo and Donnie, they did a decent job. He's, he's got his eyes focused and he's going into battle just like Leo would. And then Donnie, I think what the addition of the goggles on top is a great addition uh, to who Donnie is. Like, you know, he's always doing his scientific stuff. And I think, I think that was great. And overall, it, they just look fantastic. They have all the little uh, weapons holders on them for each turtle. Um, the, the masks and bandanas have a nice long tail to them, which is articulated really well in great positions. There's just, these statues are fantastic in my opinion, especially for the price point of $25. I got them on Amazon cheaper than that. I believe it's roughly $22 per statue, and that is well worth the money and what you get in the amount of detail in these statues. Now my final thoughts are, you should be picking these statues up. These statues are amazing. I love, love these statues. I cannot wait to put them up on my shelf and be able to look at them each and every day because these are just awesome. And again, all four for under $100 from Amazon. They might still have them on the QMaster site. I don't think they do, but they are on some third-party sellers um, all over the web. So um, yeah, pick these statues up. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notification, guys, and smash that like button. Guys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, totally awesome QMaster statues. I am so excited to finally own these four and be able to put them on my, sh on my shelf. And guys, that's going to do it for today's, today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.